thank you for coming. My name is Dr. Ashwin. I have with me Dr. Soundri and Dr. Sugi Priya with me. We are talking today about MIGS, that is minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. Minimally invasive glaucoma surgery is a surgery that is performed for glaucoma, which is an eye pressure condition. Eye pressure condition, we are trying to reduce the pressure of the eye so that it causes less damage to the nerves of the eye. Nerve of the eye gives us vision by sending those impulses to the brain. Now, when pressure of the eye increases, this pressure causes first peripheral vision to go down and it comes to becoming a tunnel vision, which is what we want to avoid. Avoid Pandanaka, we are trying to do a MIGS procedure. MIGS procedure is done in mild to moderate glaucoma where we are trying to put a stent in the eye or a bypass or let's call it a keyhole surgery for glaucoma where we are doing this with a small stent using the eye's own anatomy. Kandaga anatomy, we are trying to use that same anatomy and just create two stents, apply two stents in that eye that allow the flow of fluid outside the eye. We are trying to reduce the pressure by allowing fluid outside the eye. This is mainly called MIGS, Minimally Invasive Glaucoma Surgery. How is it different from the conventional surgery is because I am not creating a new channel. I am not creating a bleb. I am not causing any trauma. The healing in mix is faster. I have freedom from using drops. I don't have to put drops every day or at least my drop application has come down by 50 to 60 percent and I have had more than 60 cases being done in Agarwal Eye Hospital right now. And we have had 85% success rate in this. It covered under uh, CM This uh, procedure alone, glaucoma is I think covered. I have to check whether it's covered in CM scheme. But insurances across the world including India cover MIGS as a procedure. And also allow the patients to have freedom from eye drops. Freedom from next day, they can move around and do all their activity. No need of any local anesthesia or general any anesthesia except for drops. We can do this just under application of drops. These are some of the bigger advantages of mix procedure as a whole. What is the message you want to give? I want to give one major message. Please be aware of a disease called glaucoma. Get yourself screened as soon as possible because it is called a silent killer. Silent killer because it does not have any symptoms till the end. Till the last, you have last vision left, you will not know that you have glaucoma. The only way to know you have glaucoma is to come to the hospital, get your eye pressure checked, not blood pressure. Blood pressure and eye pressure are different. Get eye pressure checked. If you have family or familial family who has glaucoma, there is a higher chance you will have glaucoma after the age of 40. You will not be able to suddenly see the steps below so you start falling down. You will not see something on the side. You will be hurting yourselves. These are some of the conditions that you have to be very worried about. But more importantly, just Screen yourself annually once. Once a year, if you screen yourself for just eye pressure, you will have a much better situation there. You could talk about both cataract and this. Same, yeah. same so, itself. one of the big advantages of MIGS is you can combine this with cataract and glaucoma at the same point of time under just application of drops. There's no need of major anesthesia or anything like that. Under just application of drops, within a span of 15 to 20 minutes, both procedures are done and you can go home scot-free. More importantly, next day or a week or so after, there will be no need of application of any drops for glaucoma.
ஹை பிரஷர் செக் பண்றதுக்கான காஸ்ட் எவ்வளவு சார் ஆபரேஷனுக்கு வந்து 52 டு 2 லக்ஸ் ஓகே பட் செக் பண்ண வராங்க எல்லாம் பப்ளிக் அவங்களுக்கான காஸ்ட் யூஷுअली இன் आवर ஹாஸ்பிடல் ரேஞ்சஸ் बिटवीन 4 டு 500 ஃபார் a ஸ்கிரீனிங் பட் எனிவேர் எல்ஸ் இட் could be in the same range my guess okay. thank you sir